Well, you can see how much I had to trim that so that the bolts and the clevis or the dog bones would fit through on the lower cable, which actually goes across the top, um, above the head anyways, along the carry through. Um, now I got it all buckled up there because there's no weight hanging on it. I went ahead and connected up the, uh, the top um, uh, cable, which actually runs down the strut. And you can see that I have it laying underneath the wing and it's just sitting against that rib right there. And then it runs right up this here strut. Now, if you have, you're doing this on sawhorses, that their cable would just hang down and you put a weight on it so that you have some tension. And of course, the same thing when you route it, you route it behind this cotter pin, route it behind that, between the wheel and that cotter pin, and around this way in between the wheel and that cotter pin. And then you want enough tension on it. And of course, these aren't my uh, dog bones I'm going to finish with, but you want enough tension on it that this dog bone and all of this is held fairly straight. Now I have a piece of geodetic that I cut out here because I needed to uh, re-drill that hole right there for that brace. And, uh, but that's okay. And right now, before I reattach a piece of geodetic here, I'm going to lay it up here and see whether or not I want it on top of the geodetic or underneath it to give me better clearance here. So I have a piece pre-cut here. And I already know what I'm going to do. But as you see on the bottom, it's going to hit that cable. It's going to bend it right down and push down on it. But on top, right now, that geodetic is actually sitting down. Now it, it is rubbing. And as the, cave, as the uh, aileron comes up, it pops off of that because the horn is rotating down. So right at its highest point, it's barely rubbing it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue this geodetic down, and then I'm going to do two things. I'm going to take a chainsaw file and file a little groove right there so it's not touching there and uh, it'll be plenty of clearance. I'm going to make sure there's uh, it's at least a sixteenth maybe an eighth of an inch away from it in the full travel. But the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, take a black magic marker, permanent ink marker, and I'm going to mark straight along that. You'll be able to see that through the fabric and when it's time to fabric, you're going to have to disconnect this and then tie it with some yarn around this. And you're going to be, need to be able to see where to cut the fabric and to re, you know, reach down and grab that yarn and pull this cable back up through. This is the one that comes out the top of the wing.